All right, back to Project Nickel and Dime. Uh, we got a little bit of ahead of ourselves as far as the video with the engine and the transmission installation. So, got to get back on the Wayback Machine and uh, put a video together for uh, cylinder head installation, oil pump, oil pan, uh, damper, crankshaft damper, uh, power steering, pump, valve covers, intake manifold. Um, We've been busy, got ahead of ourselves, uh, had some product placement to do, so Project Nickel and Dime's coming along pretty good. Got to do the radiator, uh, I'll have a video of that, got to do some electrical, getting really close to finishing that up, and so to check them out. So thanks for listening. Too much of an issue. I'll have to use a drop down base on the air cleaner, but it should work out alright. So the engine will run a little smoother. Um, Okay, so as a guide for the accelerator pedal, you're going to want to make sure that you're four and a half inches from the floor. So I'll measure four and a half inches, I'll block it, and then that will tell me, give me this dimension here for my carb linkage, and then I can fabricate um, my hind joints and go from there. But as far as the factory spec, four and a half inches, which will also affect the length of the kick down for the transmission so uh, shop manual start there all right here's my fabricated throttle shaft or throttle carburetor rod linkage uh, threaded rod aluminum tubing jam nuts heim joints and these plastic spacers will go carburetor end and throttle linkage end and then I'll run stainless bolts through it with nylocks. Should work. Alright, there it is. Got the height settled in the engine, I mean the driver's side, the pedal height. Got the linkage hooked up. It's obviously not going to go anywhere. Maybe the block fell over. No, not yet. Then I can adjust down there for the kick down lever. Looking good.